Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a while since I posted anything on here. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and uh, been like what, almost a uh, month, month and a half almost. Uh, anyway, so I know a lot of you guys got a lot of questions about uh, the company I'm with, G&D Integrated. Uh, the Southeast Division is out of Charleston. And uh, to me, it's I've, I have no complaints at all. It's a great company. Uh, the pay is really good. Um, you're subject to DOT inspections. I had mine. I had a level two uh, when I was in North Carolina taking freight from John Deere, Tennessee down to the Inland Port, in, uh, Duncan, South Carolina. And of course, you got to go through North Carolina. And I passed. Um, so, hey, it was good. Uh, I'm also a trainer now. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, it's been pretty good. I, uh, my most recent trainee and my only one so far has been, uh, I was with a guy <clears throat> at Millermont, Augusta, and we were both with the CDL program at the same time. And uh, he went with CT, I went with rail, and then came on out here. And uh, when he left CT, uh, I trained him. Hey. So I'm in Alabama right now taking a, my 30 minute break. I've got to run to, I have a run or a load I've got to get delivered to Corinth, Mississippi, and it is with the uh, Caterpillar. So, <clears throat> probably got like hour left, and I've been booking it since this morning, pretty good. Uh, a little tired, um, my, uh, my mom passed about two weeks ago due to Alzheimer's. Um, and that that disease is no joke guys um, so uh, to see her decline as rapidly as she did and for it to uh, for her to succumb to that as young as she was she was 61 she, well, she was gonna be 61 um, it was just kind of heart-wrenching and um, however uh, we mourned her. We had a service for her. Um, my mom before she had um, before the uh, disease pretty much took over. She had already made her mind that she wanted to donate her body and brain tissue to the to further the research uh, for Alzheimer's. Uh, so hopefully they find a cure for this thing. This thing is nasty, and I know I know I'm not the only one who parents are going through it, grandparents are going through it, and uh, look at that, got a little thing, there we go, so it is what it is, it's uh, it's part of life, you know, the circle of life, Lion King, <laughs> but I will always love my mom and I always remember her, and got to keep going, uh, yeah, you know, I've I haven't slept much, but I'm I'm doing okay. I'm doing what I need to do, and, and uh, so my brothers and I, it was pretty good to catch up with uh, with both of them, and seeing a lot of my family members I haven't seen in a while. But uh, as far as uh, some people have questions about the pay rate, as far as uh, G and D. Now here's the thing about G and D if you it, the you get paid off of miles, but you also get paid off of everything you do from dropping hook to spot loading to how many port turns you do in the port, rather be Savannah, Charleston, or whatever. So all those little things that you may not get paid for at some of the bigger companies, you do get paid here, um, and you get paid well. Uh, so, if you're looking to come aboard, just mention my name. My name is Isaac Castillo. Um, say, hey, listen, saw this guy's YouTube channel. Thought I'd give it a shot and see what you guys are about. Trust me. Um, you won't regret it. Now, a lot of people might have a problem in the port because... There's a lot of things that go on in the port. There's a lot of moving parts from the time you show your badge, show your credentials to get in the port to exiting out of the port. 
you know, if you go from coming in, scanning your uh, toy card if you're in South Carolina, uh, and everything is everything's already in the computer. The only thing you got to do is put in your pin that dispatcher gives you, and it'll tell you where to pick up your container. Um, and then from there, you know, you take your container, you take it to the outs, you take it uh, to where you're. Going out of the port, uh, the process is pretty much the same. Um, they'll scan it, or you'll, you'll scan it, depending on where you're at. They'll look at the box, make sure everything is alright. They'll look at your chassis, make sure that it's good. If you're pulling out a port chassis, make sure the lights work, because if not, they'll turn you around. They'll tell you to go put the box up, you'll have to go to road mobility, and that'll set you back. Uh, however long or whatever is wrong with the trailer uh, that much time so but other than that it's pretty good it's stressful at times in there it is chaotic but if you just keep your cool breathe and just relax you'll come out peachy king tip top magoo as Joey Diaz would say it. So, but anyway, you guys take it easy. God bless. Peace be with you.